All right, hi folks, welcome to another Mini Masters video. Um, I am going to show off some more of uh, the Obnoxious deck just because me and my buddy uh, Spring Hill Mac played some games yesterday, and uh, my other pal, um, Mini Painter, we all uh, grew up together from like high school on, so um, he wanted to see the games. So I figured, uh, I know you guys might be sick of this deck, but. Um, I was just going to do like three or four um, games, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uptick the the graphics so that there's like explodey dudes and whatnot. Since it's Halloween, happy Halloween, by the way, for everybody. So let us crank up the visuals. Usually I play on very poor um, uh uh, visuals just because um, if somebody has a uh, keep this setting reverts after 10 seconds uh, yes I'm gonna keep it but um yeah usually I uh, have like the lower settings just in case somebody has a bad computer or something and you're up against them uh, yeah that way the lag <laughs> you don't have to deal with the lag usually but um Anyway, let's get to some gameplay here. So we should have like exploding, um, you know, people like usually fly up in the air and jazz like that. Um, okay, so we will show this one off first, I guess, our last game that we played together. And now he is only running one um, living statue, or I'm running two, but he's running creature generators. Wow, look how pretty. Oh, we're on the wrong side of things, though. Blood fuel. We could see it from their side. That might be bad, though. <laughs> might be a little rough. Punish the wicked. It's on. I stand for rightness. All right, so basically, we uh, anytime somebody had a statue or a creature generator, we would. Uh, Switch off on like who puts stuff behind him. This is like unfortunate because I think he targets the soul stealer here. Oh, wait, no, he targeted the statue. We were lucky on that. Oh, I should have like the thing where like corpses just like fly off into the air and stuff. I think I have it downplayed still. Just on the higher graphics. <laughs> I I was was so I think I put uh, fire behind the. Um... Oh wait, no, I did. Oh yeah, I did. Okay. So I put a fire in behind our behemoth. A little late, but uh. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> as you can see, this one ended pretty quick. <laughs> Yeah, he actually, uh, my buddy uh, Chris actually um, crafted a living statue for the games. <laughs> he didn't have one. Um, so let us show a couple more. And then we will be done with this deck for a while. I promise I won't do a video on it. <laughs> Not for at least a long time. So we'll show this one off. No, oh, it's uh, re reversed again, too. They got the Apep Temple, which I don't have. I want badly. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So what I was thinking about today was um, Showtime. I'm probably going to go around to the My different games I play and see what they're doing for Halloween. I know for sure Gems of War is giving away stuff for Halloween, etc. Hearthstone probably will too. So my starting hand is a little funky. That's why I play the uh, whirly scrap there. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, the fire imp does not go to the direction I wanted him to go to originally. <laughs> So we got the living statue Brutus combo up on top, which is fun. And they try to challenge it with a Colossus, which I was a little worried about for sure. <laughs> and hopefully the stun lancers get their gig going here. What should they do? <laughs> Since we won that battle, we, we actually miscommunicated there. I uh, wanted him to put the crossbow guild down on the bottom, and he put it on the top, but uh, it ended up working out anyway. <laughs> show like two more but uh i heard um uh, that uh chris and um marcus were gonna play uh some games later so hopefully they got some games in um is this us oh yeah yeah okay cool throw down those cards that's right i switched over from um Brilliant to um to uh ravager just because uh, for a while, Chris was trying to get the, um, you know, the achievement where you use a bunch of different masters. So for a while, he was running Ravager. And they're doing their own living statue thing here. So, uh, you know, there's that. Chris likes to do the uh, the two generators together. Um, I personally don't like that. Like that was probably a bad fireball. I should just like hit the generators. <laughs> but it does, um, you know, obviously fill up the board pretty quick on the one side. So. Uh, we just keep going with our living statue madness here. <laughs> statues never enough statues really and I like uh, Chris's Harbinger in the deck actually because it kind of puts another threat with all the mobs and jazz <laughs> all right so I guess we will show the last one here These are all pretty fast, so. And then um, I think from here on out, I'm gonna do um, um, like uh, solo battle for a while. So let's see. Uh, we need to switch sides here. It's on. We had two losses in between the the wins here, and that was just mainly it was just like miscommunication between me and uh, Chris. <laughs> You really have to uh, 
you know, communicate where you're putting things pretty well when you do this kind of strategy. <laughs> or things can go off the rails, you know. Right, we were kind of waiting to see what they'd play, but they, were, uh, they weren't playing anything here. So we just started our stuff back. Of course, uh... <laughs> oh, this was a good game. They actually, uh, this was actually a really tough one. So they had like the all elf deck um, <laughs> thing that like killed mobs, and Chris mainly runs like mob generators. So they were actually uh, pretty well suited against us. Higher graphics, dude, like a little weird little ball pops out of the golem. That is pretty cool. <laughs> and maybe when I do um, video plays like this, where I'm just like showing videos from their, you know, they've recorded on their thing, maybe I'll uh, put them all to the higher graphics. I like that little ball pops out of them, that's pretty sick. <laughs> So, <laughs> like, like they both had um, the little, you know, since they're buddies, they they both ran the guardians and the um, crystal wizards. <laughs> I was checking out their deck afterwards. Yeah, this one was a really really tough match for us. <laughs> I told you I'm mighty. Quite a bit more uh, XP. <laughs> oh, and I was trying to like life drain those little wizards whenever I could, for the most part. <laughs> So like we were like on the edge of winning this, so we were uh, you know just trying to get get it going. They they get a really good push coming up here though. Like this push right here is disgusting. In fact, this push was so gnarly that I was, I told Crow just to like let it let it go through, so that we could deal with it when they're around our base, which is kind of deadly considering how much damage these guys can do. <laughs> but um, we had no other choice really. And uh, we, we we're kind of holding out for my dragon here. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> At ninety five health. as you gets it done <laughs> yeah no, I thought they had us there for a second no good players hats off to them that, that was a 
they they made the best of what was going on. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you all have a nice and safe, happy Halloween. And uh, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.